Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself. You know, there's so many shifts going on. So many people are getting upvotes and uh, upgrades and downloads, you know, where we need to take that time out for our self-care and really see what the universe is trying to teach us. And that is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload your next video. Also, if you are uh, comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and you towards a positive direction. Also, um... If you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their soul path or even their, you know, their soul purpose. Please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the, you know, the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about Twin Flame. Oh, sorry. My meditation music that I am listening to. I had to put my phone on charge. I almost forgot about it. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to in the background is really enchanting. It's, it has Buddha on the front of it with psychedelic colors. It's very beautiful. Um, it's called Remove Subconscious Negative Blocks. Diffuse uh, Negative Energy Deep Healing Theta Waves. Let me see if I can allow you to see. I'll let y'all see. I guess if not want to show it to me. Oh, we can't see it. But, um, oh, there it is. Oop, no, I guess it won't let me show it to you. But, um, yeah, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Heyoka is having the power we have, uh, having the power we have to release the things that breaks our hearts. It is, you know, we have all went through so many different things and, you know, um, y'all have been truly a blessing to be able to open up and tell me about the things you have endured throughout your life that has brought you here to this very moment, what guided you towards my way. And it's truly a blessing. You know, like I've told people before, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say this, you know, um, being able to do videos and opening up and telling my story about things I've endured throughout my childhood as well as my adolescence as you know teenage years towards my adult years you know really going through some really bad hard times you know which who hasn't um but not a lot of people have that courage or even want to have that courage or want people to know the things that they went through um being that person that you know we, we are trying so desperately to get towards it's like the best version of ourselves. It can become, you know, hard at times because there are so many different things that has happened to your, towards your life. You're really trying to find every means and every answer to be able to let go of bad situations. Trust me, I know. You know, even though I'm healing so much, there's still stuff left that, you know, I'm letting go of. You know, you can't, you know, if you're trying to head towards something, you can't hold anger in your heart towards anyone, um, especially the people that have done things to you. Um, you know, I, I've read numbers, like where my numbers you know, mirror like, you know, 737 or 858, you know, different numbers that are, you know, mirroring each other towards the middle. You know, I always reach out for those because, you know, angels are archangels and angel spirit guys are communicating through, you know, songs, uh, you know, license plates, numbers, or just a saying that you probably heard in your head and then next, you know, somebody projects it and says it out loud, you know, um, the universe plays its way of trying to communicate with us all the time to let us know that you know even though we have experienced so much hard time and trials and tribulations in our life you know we deserve to be happy you have to be able to separate yourself from the pain that has been caused about you you know towards you you're not 
what that situation is. You know, a lot of times we can become where we feel like we're broken or we're damaged or we're jaded, you know, and that, that's a very sad situation. Um, being able to know you can heal, you know, it just takes a daily process. You have to be able to, you know, write down the things that you, you know, or you're trying so best desperately not saying so best desperately to heal from you know you write down things you may you know something something might trigger you it could be like a, a, a saying or just like a certain situation that you see others go through um or you're you watch a movie and it reminds you the things that you have gone through but you have to be able to see that in a different perspective there's a lot of things that I've endured in my life and there are so many like I'm a movie person and there's a lot of times where you know movies has hit below the gut and you know, I'll start bursting out into tears but it wasn't for them to project out you know anything that I've went through as in a pain but as you know yes you went through this but what is the lesson behind the situation that you have endured what is you know what is the universe trying to teach you from that pain that you have had you know um, knowing that you deserve to be happy on so many different levels you know I love when y'all tell me that you know blessings is coming your way or you know um, things that you didn't feel like you can excel on and you finally did uh, those are blessings to you you know you always should congratulate yourself even if it's for the littlest things you know um, a lot of times we make mountains out of low hills, you know, um, being able to feel like things are hard to let go of, but you have to be able to know why you went through these certain things in the first place, you know, I don't know everything that y'all have been through, you know what you've been through, you know, there's things that will be placed in your life for you to be able to see, you know, whether it's people, like I said, movies. You know, whatever your interests are, there might be things drawing towards you to help you heal. Or it might draw towards you for you to allow it to see it from the outside in of a different person going through it. Um, being able to do that was a blessing. I mean, I've, I've seen myself, like, watching a lot of movies. Like, my mom, God rest her soul, she used to love Lifetime uh, movies. And it would be things that we would watch, especially like if I was seven or eight years old. I remember I watched this movie on um, Lifetime with my mom. And this is when her and her husband were still married. And this, the, there was this man that had his daughter. And he was, a, you know, he had her at a very young age. And they gave him up for adoption. And it's just like, he, I guess the child was being abused or something like that but he was trying so desperately to get back in that child's life and the people kept saying oh I'm gonna allow you to see her and these and this and that but then they took back on their word you know and they felt like they have an upper hand because you know anybody knows the the law about adoption you know it's up to the family you know if they want them to you know be engaged in that child's life you know uh the the biological family you know it's up to them for that you know some people have closed cases so just in case you know they, they don't want to have any kind of attachment to that child which is a sad thing especially if you know um you know if you want to be utmost and honest about different situations you know i've had people in my family that i know that you know has gone through certain situations like this not exactly like that but just for the knowledge of them not knowing that they were adopted other than me and I'm just like wow you know y'all didn't just try to break somebody else's heart you did this again you know there was, so there was a lot of things that you know that movie had taught me I remember I was eight years old when I saw that movie and I bawled and I bawled and I told my mom my mom's like Rosalind what's wrong I said you know why would that why would that fam family keep him away from his daughter he just you know he just wants to know her you know that's so sad I'll be I wouldn't know what to do if somebody did that to me and I just cried so hard because it was like I didn't know in that way it was like my soul telling me you were about to go through that you know you were about to endure that and I'm trying so hard not to cry because it is just like nobody should be able to do that towards nobody I could see if it was like the family was serial killers, you know, there were psychos or, you know, or just very abusive. But, you know, just out of love, you know, I feel like when somebody's adopted, it's a blessing when I can hear people say that they were, when they were placed up for adoption, they really had a, a very up, 
very good upbringing. You know, they you know they love the parents with all their heart. And I, you know, I cry when I hear hear stuff like that. I'm like, dang, I wish I had that for me. You know, but I knew what my situation was that has brought me here. You know, because there's I'm not gonna lie to y'all. There's days I cry and think about the things that I went through, and I say I would never, never do anybody like that. You know, I even look at my children. And, you know, I see them with their dad. It, it can it can be heartbreaking at times because it's like I didn't get that chance in my life. You know, I would never keep my children away from their father unless they were, like, abusive. You know, um, downright abusive. That's the only time I can actually see myself keeping them away from them. But then I want them to be able to see the things, you know, I'll try not to talk bad about their dads or anything like that. But if they're, like you know, narcissistic or anything like that, I would just protect them, but at that age, when they're old enough to, you know, make that decision for my, themselves, I would allow that to happen, um, for them to be able to know that truth, you know, and it's just like seeing different things, it has guided you, basically, to let you know there's things that's gonna happen to you. My mom, like, right before she died, she begged me, like, make sure you find your father so, you know, he can be able to introduce you to your mom. You know, if you find your father, you, you know, you'll find your family, because she was like, I have this, you know, and she cried to me and hugged me, and I didn't know what the heck was going on. She was just like, Rosalind, you know, I see you going through so much heartbreak over not knowing the truth, you know, and I hope and pray that it never happens. I mean, just to see my mom cry like that, because my mom wasn't that type of person that cried over certain things. I mean, the only time I would see my mom cry unless she physically hurt herself or there was a death in the family. You know, other than that, my mom never showed that, you know, that side of her crying. So being able to deal with that, you know, I had to be able to release a lot of things, and I'm still releasing it. You know, it's hard to listen to certain songs that my dad has made because it brought me that memory of things that he was going through. You know, and that's, you know, that felt like that being a medium and plus having that twin telepathy, you know, seeing my dad, you know, endure so much pain. I mean, he is such a strong person, but cries behind closed doors, basically. And knowing these are the things that, you know, he had to deal with throughout his life. You know, that man could get anything, any woman he wanted. But the only thing he always wanted to be was a father. And it was, he was denied that. And, you know, just be able to know that he went through that. I know I went through a lot. But it was just like, you being that parent, and you, you know, you try to do any and everything, you know, um, to please people. Just for you to be able to see your children. And that was still held hostage for you. You know, that's really a, a, you know, upsetting situation, but you have to have that power to be able to separate yourself. You know, I had to look at it as like, you know, yeah, that happened to him, but the universe is allowing me to see that. It was just allowing me to know, look at the, the connection of love that, you, you know, you were denied, you know, because I felt like anytime love was shown to me, it was always short-lived. You know, my mom... I dreamed of having my mom the way I wanted her, but our, our relationship was very toxic. But we ended up having the best relationship. We became best friends. Towards the end, it was just really hurtful. I cried to God, like, why would you allow her to be my best friend at that time and then take her away? So, you know, dealing with all those different things, it really, you know, hurt, hurt my soul in so many different directions. And then, you know, being able to finally, you know, I wasn't able to listen to my dad's music because it was like they knew my mom allowed me to listen to it, but her husband didn't want that because he knew there was hidden messages in there that I would end up understanding. And he didn't want that to come out. So I was forbid to listen to my dad's music growing up. You know, anytime my adopted father was around, I wasn't able to do that. You know, I wasn't able to sing his songs. Like if I, you know, I sung Computer Blue and the part he said was like, where's my baby, where has he gone? I almost had my teeth slapped out of my mouth just for singing that, you know? Um, so it was just like all those things I had to go through and endure. I had to place that out of my heart, you know? And it's just like, you know, everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to feel like they matter towards someone. You know, even though you don't need that validation from anybody, but you need to come from within, you know, you being a parent, you, you know, if you're a parent, you understand, you want your children to feel loved, you want them to feel protected. And at that time, I wasn't able to feel it because everything was blocked for me that 
was standing there to protect me. I wasn't able to have that. So there was a lot of things that I had to let go of, you know, even though I know it had to serve a bigger purpose. Because it's like, you know, when I open my heart up and tell y'all the things that I've endured, a lot of things I hold back on because they're too, too, too dark, um, too heartbreaking. You know, um, the universe allows me to say certain things and say, you know, keep the rest of it to yourself. This is something you have to let go of. So it's just, you know, allow yourself to have that power within you that even though you have endured so many sad things in your life, allow yourself to be happy. You know, it's not meant for you to endure things and constantly keep putting yourself in torment by keep reliving those things, you know, and I had to keep telling myself that. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and cut this short because I already feel like I'm about to get emotional. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love. Peace. Bye.